Well, all observers are agreed on this. It is the point where the competition gets really serious. Top teams now fielding their best available lineups in front of big, big crowds. A lot of noise, great expectation, and the sense that the possibility of silverware is at hand. This is a big chance. So blue and black, of course, very much the dress code for the day. Well, there is a, a perceptibly greater sense of urgency from both sides here with uh, a place in the last four on the line. Well, look, when you reach this stage of the competition, you begin to think you can go the distance. Now, the big characters in either dressing room will be stressing the need to find whatever it takes to get through. Has everyone got the substance and character to make it happen? These are the questions that both of these sides have to answer today and one side will obviously do it that bit better. So it's away we go then. Across the field it goes. Tassil, and it's Sanetti. It's got through, tries a shot! the worry or two good effort very good effort he would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though let's hope forward it goes and here's Eto it's Brazil oh dear. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class weight. And to Koba. Yeah. with a fine tackle. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Eto. Tassil. Appearance and very necessary. Zanetti switches it towards the other side. Going for goal! Tries to locate someone up front. And here's Ronaldo. It's all! Oh, that's a fine save! The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Time here. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. The midway point of the game. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at, at the very end. And I get the feeling the second half may well start in, in similar fashion, as we'd love to see this momentum maintained. So I'm looking forward to what's to come. After 45 minutes. And the shot! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Looks to clip it forward. Bozzani. Played in with accuracy. Ronaldo throws it out to the flank. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. It's being played forward. And the weighted pass. And it's Ibrahimovic. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb.
Cotin. Eto. Nicely measured pass. And there goes the final whistle. Only a draw in the home leg. He tilts the tie against them with an away game to come. Well, how will we look back on that? Wow, like so many of these games, that just flew by. There was great excitement in, in the match and it, it kept everybody guessing which way it was going to turn. I think in the end, I, I doubt that there'll be much cause for complaint. Uh, neither side deserved to lose for me. Inter Milan come into the second leg just as they started the first. It is a narrative which uh, is also applicable to their opponents after a goalless draw last time out. Much has been talked about on and off the field since those 90 minutes came to a close. But talk is one thing, hindsight is 2020. Right now we have 90 minutes ahead of us which will tell the ultimate tale. 
the San Siro for so long Milan's fortress decorated top to bottom in the colours of the famous Rossoneri so we are now where we began neither side any closer to the semi-finals someone from somewhere gets up to head it goal it's hardly a surprise is it that's what we're here for a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times yet yet another example Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Inter Milan have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Jar cuts it out. Defense has got rid of that. Pasil. Plays it over to the other flank. Oh, he's not going to get that. Kjar, Kjar sends it forward, into Milan, scored early of course, oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Lucas Paqueta! He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And the defence can get it clear. Zanetti. And he's going long. Zamorano and his flag offside. Well played, he saw that coming. <laughs> Stefan de Vrij, made towards the front men. And it's Balotelli. Shoots! He's pulled off a fine set. Oh, that is asking for trouble. It's Kane! <laughs> and the half-time whistle goes. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Inter Milan, the happier of the teams, heading in for half time, 1 0 up. Shapes to shoot! It's a goal! And this is getting better and better. The understanding between those two plays a big part in that and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. Milan can make their change now with uh, a break and play. Into Milan, have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Placille. Oh, now some movement on the bench and we are going to see a change. Bonaventura, 60 minutes played. Lucas Paqueta.
Inter Milan making consecutive changes here. Milan awarded another corner. They've played it short. So who's he picking out? Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. And he just whacked. Hits one! Right there! Right back in the game! Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Changes then in quick succession. We have got ourselves a game here. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum now. And it's Samorano. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Lucas Paqueta. Now it's Samorano. Good challenge. Excellent challenge. Just a few more moments for them to have. Has a goal! Goal! And surely that does it! Perfect time! Decisive strike! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Into Milan could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Or some has a hit! Oh, that is rather wayward. Samuel goes looking. Chip through. Shot a goal! And with that, the final whistle. Inter Milan have got it done through to the last four and evidently now believing in it. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Inter made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know. It's, it's not always about form. It's not always about class or style. It's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today.